Alright, what's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy DMV Hudson News, and who we got right here, man? man? You got your boy Crown Vic, man. VA representative, man. Money set president that you know. Money set president, man. Yeah. Whole time, man. Yes, sir. We, we right here. We right here right down, though, man. What's going on? How you doing today, man? Shit, I'm doing great. Shit, I made a couple thousand today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Shit, went to the mall. You feel me? Got my shorty right. You know what I'm saying? Got my all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Blew a few racks. You feel me? This regular shit is what I be on, man. Yeah, in fact, just getting straight to the money, huh? Straight to it. Nah, fact. So the money rag, you know what I'm saying? It's shit deep, you know what I'm saying? It means something. You know what I'm yeah, saying? We, we do. all rep, we all wear, we all flat. But what do what do it mean though? Shit, it just it's just a, it, it's like we're set, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't we ain't we ain't running the homes, we ain't we ain't, we, we we banging money. We getting paper together. That's what it means. Okay, so smart. We abandoned brothers getting money. So but it give it like a nice little cool feel. So what's the name of it again? The firm money set. The money set the right money there. Set, so basically, y'all, y'all, y'all ain't banging colors. Y'all not a gang. Y'all yeah, just yeah. we banging and getting. We on. hustlers. Yeah, we hustlers. Just getting money. So money. These niggas set. wearing the rag that work nine to fives. They got great jobs. You feel me? But they mm. get into the money. They get into they the money. They invest in the money. Do real estate. This and that. They get to the money. Flag it. You uh, feel me? Yeah. Really? So you got somebody that's out here just getting to legal money. He could be with the money. He could set. be with money set too. Oh, uh, yeah. that's cool. Cool. That's that's respect, man. I respect, yeah. man. So we are gonna get straight to your story. You know, I, I met you at the interview yesterday and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh, but I wanted to get to know your story and shit. So tell me, man, what, what part of Virginia are you from? I'm from Annadale. Grew up, Annadale. grew up in Alexandria, but really grew up in Annadale. Yeah. Really. You say Alexandria and Annadale? Yeah. Ain't that like... It's right there. It's right yeah, there. Yeah, ain't that kind of like Alexandria a little it, bit? It is. Like when I moved from e from Essa Road to the other side of Essa Road, like going towards um, Backlick Road, mm -hmm. then I was considered I was in Annadale. Right. But I was two minutes away from my old house. Yeah, in Alexandria. Yeah, in Alexandria. Oh, okay. Yeah, you okay. feel me? I just moved up the street, so that's all it was. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. What, what, how old was you when you moved? I was in the uh, seventh grade. Seventh grade. Yeah. So basically, Alexandria and Annadale. Annadale, that's my upbringing. Okay, Alexandria yeah. and Annadale. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, tell me what's it, because you know, you don't really hear too much about Annadale for real. Uh, I interviewed some dudes from around Falls Church, mm -hmm. and uh, back in the day, they say back in the days it was black people around there, but like now it's mostly foreigners and et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? They said they used to like, you know, the older people back in the days, not speaking about no current situation, they said they, they used to beef with people in Annadale. But, yeah. Um, my man down Falls Church, but today, um, you don't really see too much going on in Annadale. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, how was your upbringing out there? Shit, my upbringing was cool, but we had to deal with the MS shit mm -hmm. when I was in Annadale. So that was a big thing. Like, buddy systems in school and all that was a real thing. Like, I had a friend that got his fingers cut off. Really? When it was middle school, yeah. Oh, she yeah. died and all that? Oh. Yeah. Nah, he ain't died, but they, they cut his, you know, the throw up the, the little, I'm not gonna throw it up, but you know, the throw up the little, they cut his middle fingers off and everything. And yeah, they used to chase off the bus and all type of shit. So we used to, that was wow. a real thing. For was me. it like kind of like a race war in a way? They just ain't like black people. And yeah, they, so it kind of was. It kind of was, but it wasn't, I don't think that was intention, but it kind of was them. Yeah. But they didn't fuck with nobody that wasn't them. Really? You feel me? Yeah. And even if you was a Spanish nigga fucking with niggas, then you was a target too. Really? Yeah, that's how it was. And there's a lot of Hispanics in Northern Virginia, a so lot. so a it's lot. like, yeah, you know it's a saying? neighborhood in, in around like the Del Rey part of Alexandria. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's actually all Hispanic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I forgot what the name. It started with a C. I, I can't think of the name, mm -hmm. but um, that's I'm crazy. Coolmore? I think that's what the name. Now Coolmore is like Coolmore towards like Falls Church. Yeah, Falls yeah. Church. But I'm saying it's a, uh, it's like a, it's like Chari a problem. Hagua. Yeah, that's it Chari right there. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that joint wild too. That joint like the jumping. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I heard about that joint. Every day said that joint jumping, so yeah. yeah but uh, besides that, like, um, so y'all had to deal kind of like more race wars than yeah, whatever, sure whatever. Like yeah. And it's more like foreigners. Like when I go out there, I see Ethiopians, Africans, yeah. and uh, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So I'm West African, Cameroon. Oh, Cameroon. So there's a lot of us. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Nigerians. Yeah, a lot of that. Yeah. So y'all, you would say like y'all had to really defend yourself a lot, like out there dealing with that type of situation. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah, yeah. For the most part. I never knew, yeah. I ain't never know the MS was on that side too. You know this does saying? this don't get caught lacking, that pretty much what it was. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Because they so deep. Yeah, and they it, deep out there on that yeah, side. Yeah, and even get at the time, even get it to them, like you get it to a nigga, you might crush him in school, you might get off the bus and there's forty niggas waiting on you with machetes and all that really trying to kill you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you have like one experience you can talk about? Like Shit. You know what I'm saying? with me personally, uh I would say just rumbling with me, and my man Kevin Sack. We used to always we try to make our little our little click, little MW and shit, mm. and bang against them niggas and shit. We clicked up. We got into a little rumble with some niggas, and like I said, we went to Bryn Mawr, and them niggas met us at Bryn Mawr, and we came 13 deep. They was 50 deep, 
and we it went down, but we ended up having to retreat and getting the fuck because we was we was out man. Mm -hmm. It was too many niggas, you know what I'm saying? It was too mm -hmm. many of them. Mm -hmm. So that's my own personal experience yeah. with them, really. That's crazy. Yeah, man. really. I don't know. We had experience with Latin gangs, but you know the Latin gangs in DC was like. They kind of grew up with us, mm -hmm. for the most part, like the younger, like our generation mm -hmm. and stuff. They grew up in D.C., so yeah. it was like, it was cool with us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They had their own thing going on, like, like, prime example, we was in school, we had LC. It was yeah. a gang called LC 14, but 14 stands for 14th Street. Okay. Yeah. So it was like, they claimed they blocked in a way, you know what I'm saying? But they had their own little crew, and it was like another couple of little gangs, the school I went to. And then, but you had the MS 13s and the 18th streets and stuff like that, oh, yeah. but they didn't really deal with us too much. Like, they yeah. was like... You know what I'm saying? They was just them. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They, I can't even explain. They was real quiet and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, you kind of had like small little race wars and shit, but yeah. you know what I'm saying? So it's a little, I guess being out there and you being kind of in a way a minority, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I guess it's a little bit of a difference in a way. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you also told me that you, uh, for some years, you lived on the Southern Virginia side too. Yeah, Norfolk. Norfolk I too. Lived in Norfolk, yeah. yeah. I went out to school there. To wrestle on a wrestling scholarship. Oh, pro wrestling? No, you talking about no, wrestling? No, like actual wrestling. wrestling. Like, oh, shit. Wrestling. Uh, I wrestled 197. I won state championship in high school at 215. Right. You know what I'm saying? Eastern Shore National Champion. Mm -hmm. So I went to ODU. Mm -hmm. Went to wrestle there for a little bit, like two, three years. Until, you know, things caught up with me. Yeah. That was, that was great, though. Norfolk was cool. Yeah. How was it out there? What was the difference between, like, Northern Virginia and, like, Norfolk? Norfolk was my first time. I liked Norfolk because it was back, like, I felt like... It's like like a like you felt like you were around your people again. Mm -hmm. That's that I got that feeling. Going to end it though, I had to kind of switch up. Like everything I was doing was wrong. You know, I came from uh, James K. Polk and all that shit. Hammond. I moved to Annadale where everything I was doing in Hammond was okay. Mm -hmm. It was more predominantly black school. Annadale predominantly white. Kind of like a mixture, but they the majority. So every the rules was different. Right. Talking out of turn is everything is a punishment. Is detention. I wasn't used to that. Right, right, you know what right. I'm saying? So, so you basically was like, it was more like a suburban. Suburban type of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type yeah. of, I had, to, I had to get acclimated. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I had to learn, like, okay, you don't talk back to teachers. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, like that type of shit. Mm -hmm. That's where I learned that. Yeah. yeah, and then when you went to, when you went down Norfolk. In Norfolk, it was like getting that feel again about being around my own people. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, love, black owned Because majority black. Majority black. Norfolk State right there, Hampton right there. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? ODU's a blend, but it's still black, you know? Yeah, yeah, so it's that same love, that same feel. Yeah, uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you told me you told me that your head got in a situation. Do you want to speak about that? I mean, I can now. I just had caught a uh, kidnapping abduction. Really? That's how I got kicked out of ODU. <coughs> mm -hmm. So, because that the hustle then with my niggas was the textbooks. You know, you could resell textbooks. Mm -hmm. So for us, it was breaking the room, stealing textbooks, selling them for the high, like three, this $300 textbooks, $700 textbooks. Yeah. That's why they changed how you had to scan, it had a name right. You can't mm. just go sell any book now in college because shit like that. Mm. That really was our hustle. So that turned to me just, when I started doing that, you know I already was on the wrong shit, I should've been going to class and shit. Mm. And that just trickled down to, that's where I'm from though, I'm from, you know? So uh -huh. I kind of brought those elements to school with me, like yeah. a dumbass, right. and it just caught up with me. I caught a kidnapping abduction. It got, you know what I'm saying, then my little time at 811. Okay, so you, you was- 811, they know me as ODU and 811, they know me. Oh, okay. ODU, yeah, we run with the shower on, niggas know me. Okay, <laughs> you, know you was actually charged, you was actually charged for the crime. I was, I was charged, but I, the, what I got was, I got it down to assault. Okay. So I ended up doing like, like nine months, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, for the assault. Okay. And then, yeah, they gave me a song, they let me do it like that. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it could've went bad. It could've been bad. Yeah, yeah. dealing with the common yeah. I don't care what part of Virginia you had, Fairfax or Norfolk. And you know, Norfolk, they spanking. Seven like they spanking niggas. For real? Yeah, Jersey Okay, numbers. so Norfolk is just as bad as yeah. like Northern Shark Virginia. Shark City, Jersey numbers. And yeah. Anything, five years, 10 years, they want to send niggas off. That shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So that's what it was. So it was cool. If it was stressful, cause I didn't get no bond off back. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't care about the school, they didn't care about what the, the background, the coaches writing letters, they didn't give a fuck about none of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that was that was a kind but of least, scary. At least you was blessed like that to have. Yeah, to have that, yeah. You know, crazy time. How was it in there? Cause you 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 down on that side a little bit. So like you coming from Northern Virginia, did people look it down upon you? Cause you know, it's like y'all don't really get the support from the other parts of Virginia. Yeah. As well as you already look down upon in DC and Merlin yeah. in the DMV area, but you also yeah. get looked down upon in the 804s and 757s. Yeah. So like- It was I, tough like the first, I would say like the first, after I, it was tough cause the four man sale, 
was tough because I ain't know nobody. I couldn't scream on the door and check in with nobody. Right. So to them, it's Shock City. You know, smell blood, you eat. They they assumed I was food. But when I beat a couple niggas up, then it was cool. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, but yeah, but that was tough because I didn't know anybody. I had no friends. I'm not from there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it was no Northern Virginia. It was, it was no, no DC, Northern, Maryland. Nothing. Niggas I was locked up with. It was none of that. Yeah. It really? Was none of that with me. Or at least uh -huh. the, the floors I was on. Six and fifth flows, nobody from anywhere I was from. Everybody was from Suffolk here, Rugersville, you know what I'm saying? Park Place, da da. I don't, you know what I'm saying? So I had no, yeah, to mm. really earn my stripes. Yeah. So yeah. Do you kind of got to pick a side, like a, a corner, or you could just stay to yourself? You know no, what I'm you saying? Stay to yourself for real, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I say Sharp City different because, you know what I'm saying? Like bullies really bully bullies. Mm -hmm. So you, it, it's hard, it was hard to stay to yourself. That's what I learned how to play chess and shit, stuff like that. You yeah. Feel me? Gambling, I try to stay away from the gambling. You know how you get caught in the trick bags and all that type of I shit. I heard about that, yeah. Oh, the nigga, and he making something, they playing against you, woo woo you losing conversation. So I stayed away from like, the gambling with the poker chips and shit when they cut the cars up and shit. But mm. yeah, like, it was it was, it was was cool though. You didn't have to like bang in to join a gang or nothing, but there was gangs in there, you mm. know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 first time. Yeah, 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 that's got to. That's probably got to hit it. You, you, you ain't got nobody in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah you by yourself. I, I mean, I know you met good men up in there, but of good men. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like the same time. You ain't got nobody. You ain't got yeah, no, nobody. It's yeah, like man. you can't like. It's not like you get locked up in the feds. Oh yeah, the DC crew or yeah, you know what I'm saying, like Maryland or the Virginia crew, yeah. anything like that. Yeah, yeah they so. nicknamed me ODU. Like, yeah, they already knew what it was. Like that was my nickname. They ODU for like I knew I got kicked out of ODU. Do da da. Yeah, so that was just like a whole. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it was kind of intrigued that I was in school though. So kind of help me mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying with yeah. some niggas yeah, yeah exactly. nah for real uh so i'm gonna ask that i, I kind of asked this question yesterday but you being locked up on that side and dealing with the the law on that side what, what you think is worse man you think northern virginia uh is worse or you think down there is worse you know what my saying? honest thing but i said it's seven five like Really? It's worse in the sense of like it's real. Like a lot of shit, like sometimes I joke with niggas that come from out of town, they don't understand it. Like my Atlanta family or whatever from, from my, my St. Louis family. They be like, this nigga got away with that, yeah. DMV kinda like a mythical place. A lot of niggas do janky shit that they'll die for in the 75. Mm -hmm. That I've witnessed niggas die for. All that back that shit, that janky shit, that funny money shit, showing a nigga five dollars when you know you owe him a hundred, you give him ninety-five, and I see niggas get popped for that. Right. So seven five seven maybe take things more serious. Right. It let me know how serious shit could really get. Uh -huh. And that I was lucky and blessed to kind of be in a place where we kind of, we give a lot of niggas passes around the way. Niggas still die. Yeah, niggas yeah. still woo woo but niggas get a lot of passes for goofy shit up here. Yeah. And in some five, you're done, you toast. Mm -hmm. You're not, it's not, and they killing everything. Yeah, you feel me? And they carry big guns down there. It's every because they country. Yeah, they're right near the bases, they come up, they parents military, they come up playing with big guns. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's, it's not even, it wasn't even a thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, facts. So he said, stay the fuck away from out there, man. Yeah, you could be out there, just be on point. Be yeah. on real man. Like, niggas scream man time, but really be on it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Man time ain't just something to say. It's a way of, it's a way of life. It's a way to move. Right. You know what I'm saying? I really learn man time. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Even something as small as, like, a nigga suck my dick. That shit get your ass popped. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, them jail rules and shit. Like, you know, in the jail, you can't tell a nigga, you can't invite him to your private. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Excuse me, da da. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of the same on the street for them. Whereas here, when you get out of jail, you can get back to the whole nigga sucking my dick. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Out there, it's like they kind of still be on that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So jail rules apply everywhere. Yeah. In the yeah, seven five. Yeah. yeah. I said that's a difference. Yeah. Just, but I'm, I'm saying like the, the the question was like originally was like what about like the laws? Like the laws? Because you, know, you get spanked in Northern Virginia, especially yes, we were just speaking about Fairfax County. Yeah. I know you didn't grow up in Fairfax County. You grew up like on the outside. That's like what Arlington County or this nah, stuff. Fair, Inner Delta, Fairfax County. Oh, it is. It is. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you. So I grew up in Fairfax County. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, would you would you say that like the laws out there on that side of Virginia, or you say the I laws? I say it's the same as this VA. Yeah, it's the same. Mm -hmm. It's down there, like. <sighs> I just see niggas get a lot of time for shit up here that they might have been like a little bit lenient for, oh, or right. I know down there like. It's majority of time nigga not getting a bond where out here at least you can fight a fair fight free mm -hmm. depending on the circumstance. Right, right, 757 right. be hella no bond, no bond, yeah. no bond. First charge, still no bond. Like, 
they want to lock you up, keep you like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the only difference. But as well, far as the time, VA is spanking niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's general. That's, that's like, like, I, 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 I was fucking with your man yesterday, but yeah. he was saying that Prince Williams County sweet. I mean, it's probably sweeter than Fairfax, but it's still Virginia. It's still Virginia, bro. Yeah, niggas doing time like. Yeah, it's still Virginia. Yeah. I know, man. I know. Yeah, my man got locked up in Fairfax. They actually, nah, he didn't get locked up. They had a, actually, it was back in the days and shit. This, the UU days, not free car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we used to steal cars and shit when you was young and go out Virginia, steal cars, go to their little rave parties and shit like that. And like, I just remember, like, my man stole a car. He had the car for like two weeks, man. They actually died in them, had him on the news and everything over Damn. stolen car. And he had to do like, it was like on and off three years because he was fighting the case for like three, like yeah. for a long time. And I think he violated and they just gave him, they spanked him for three years. Oh my God. And told the full, full stole the car. Something that you give him a, like a misdemeanor yeah. probation for him, yeah. you see. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I should say stay the fuck out with him. Nah, yeah, it was yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I, I asked the same question yesterday, but you, yeah. think, you think No Savage got a good time? You think yeah, No Savage? Yeah, he did. We was worried about him, for real. Niggas yeah. fuck with No Savage. So when I was like, they did a shoot in Tyson's. Yeah, you know I was. What I'm I was like, bro, that's the that's the main mall. Yeah. And VA is like, in the, you know, he having a name. And VA is definitely a place like to make examples Especially of Especially, oh my, yeah, Tyson's and Mall. Ben, ben, Tyson's Mall, you gotta think what he, what he did, like, so. When he got the time, we was happy for him. Yeah. And we were scared, like we felt like the you know, everybody in the situation. Mm -hmm. We felt like anybody, that could have been anybody. Yeah. So we felt like we felt for him. Mm -hmm. But we seen the time he got nigga was happy. I felt like he shouldn't have been sentenced. Well, I didn't speak about another man case, but just me evaluating the case. Yeah. Because there was another case about somebody actually getting shot. Somebody tried to do like it was on a I think it was a what's the county next to Fairfax? Um Stat was Stafford Loud in the state. La loud in the state. It was a mall out there, uh -huh. and a dude got shot trying to prank somebody, and he got shot. He did no time. Oh, for real? Yeah, he did no time. It was oh, a white wow. guy. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I always wanted to bring that up too on yeah. the blogs too. Yeah. Um, I always wanted to do bring that up on the blogs, but just saying like it's kind of double standards. It you is. know what I'm saying? It is. Yeah, it's kind of double standards, especially in Virginia. It you know is. what I'm saying? It you get that? Yeah. So, oh, so I want to get straight to this though, man. So after you had got out of jail, you decided that you wanted to rap. Yeah. Well, I, well, what are you suspending me indefinitely? So I couldn't go back to school there. I went to Norfolk State, they gave me a leniency. I was going there online. But at that point, I was just so far removed. All my friends and graduated with the wood and left. So I was trying to do it and it wasn't me. My man DC opened up a studio and wanted me to help him run it. So I had to weigh my options. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna try that shit. Mm -hmm. And as I was there, Lex Luger was like, I was doing my thing, da da. He like, bro, you need to get in the booth because you really, these niggas Lex Luger, the producer? The producer Lex, that's like, my guy. Talking about, Lex Luger, talking about, yeah. Yeah, Rick Ross, Rick Ross bro, look, like, like, Juicy like, J, Lex Luger? Juicy J, that's Damn, my nigga. That's crazy. Nigga. Yeah, like, they taught me how to rap. Him and uh, DJ L.E.S., mm -hmm. who fucked with Nas and shit. He right, taught me right, how to rap. Him, Lex, and uh, High Def, they taught me how to rap. Mm -hmm. So, he was like, he got me to come in the studio, and what they woo, da da you know what I'm saying? Because I was just known to have what niggas wanted, and then... Mm -hmm. Just took off from there. That's right, right. I was like, and as I was liking it, I was like, I thought I see an opening, a window with this, this school shit, cool, whatever. I'm making money on the studio with my man, so shit, that's success. Fuck it, fuck the school. So I left Nova State. And yeah, I and then you just, you just went to pursue music and shit. Pursue music all the way. Right, 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 right. Did you have any aspirations, or that just wasn't the plan at all? Um, like aspirations as far as like, like influences, or was it just like? Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Or did you always want to like make music, but you just like prioritize I everything? I always love music, but I didn't know I could rap for real. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? The thing that got me into it was when my dad died. He passed away of cancer. So I was just writing poetry and shit. Right. Just to get him, because I'm not like a, hey, bro, I feel sad. I'm not going to vent to my people. I'm not like that. So I just went to my notebook. You know what I'm saying? And then I kind of started liking putting my words down. So when he offered me to like, yo, you should rap, I was like, fuck it, let me try it. Mm. Might be the same thing. And, and, and I was actually good at it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Shit coming off the top. You know what I'm saying? Like I was, mm. yeah, I called real quick. I went from, I was only using notepad for like eight months. I used to write hella rhymes. Da -da 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 -da. Then once you got it. And then when it. I learned how to, he taught me how to freestyle punch in. Cause he told me that's what these niggas is doing. He said, I'm in the way all this writing on that. You're going to miss songs. So he, when he taught me how to go off the top, I love the music, but then wow. I never grew up wanting to be an artist like that. I would say yeah. it kind of found me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like how Lupe said, "Hip hop saved my life." Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Yeah, if I it really found me. Because mm. I, I had dreams of being a pharmacist and shit. Right. Yeah, like Olympic wrestler or be a pharmacist for real. Yeah. Like that's really yeah. what I was going to do. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, also the other dream I was hard to think because you know you you said you you was a professional wrestler. I mean, not professional, but like a, a, a what, what would you call it? Collegiate wrestling. Yeah, collegiate wrestling. Yeah. I, I thought you'd probably be professional wrestling. Oh, be like next, WWE shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be the nah, next Kurt Angle yeah. and shit. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to do that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of us really get hurt doing that they shit, do. though. Yeah, that shit man. not easy. Yeah, they say like it's scripted, but that shit, motherfuckers really put nah, their body in pain. Do. They do. You got to yeah, yeah. extreme shit for Yeah, that. nigga. Yeah, nigga. No just, just like you said, nigga, the, the, the amateur wrestler like Kurt Angle, you know yeah. what I'm saying? His ass got broken necks from wrestling and yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but now, um, you know, I was just bidding this shit, but, you know, um, what's, like, your goal overall? Shit, with this, just be the, be one of the biggest labels out of the area, for real. Really? Like, my oh. aspirations with the music, once I got involved, when it was to be, like, a Rockefeller or a bad boy, mm. and be, like, that CEO rapper, you know what I'm mm. saying? Put niggas on, give niggas jobs, really make an impact, you know what I'm saying? Let niggas know there's other options and shit, you feel right. me? And, like, shit like just really just motivate right. motivate the streets motivate the, just be motivation shit, right. i want somebody to have me on the wall and inspire to be me and grow up and da 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 like really be an example like you know like i said i'm a role model in a bad influence like don't follow everything but mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying yeah really just have a real like yeah do that like, Man, you know, yeah Mm -hmm. no, Grammys, all that. I'm yeah, like, so you don't even want to just be an artist. You want to be like an overall, overall e everything just, in that. Everything. Businessman, CEO, like really. Yeah. Want that. I have a question though. So it's like, is what, what's going to be the like pro? Because you, you know, you notice that some people that are um, artists, they sometimes they can't do both at full mm -hmm. time. You know what I'm saying? What makes you think that you can do that? You know what I'm saying? Because like I'm you just, see, you see somebody he a great artist, but he might be a bad CEO. CEO. He might not treat his artists. He might not get the right deals for his artists. And his artists talking bad about him, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, um, and stuff like that. So, like, what makes you think that you can, um, you know, grasp both? Because I, shit, I command and put a lot of niggas on already with other things. So, but I just feel like with me, I feel like the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to have, get everything I can as an artist, then start. I feel like niggas make the mistake of trying to push niggas while they still are aspiring to do this as an artist as well. Yeah. I'm going to wait till like, I'm, I've accomplished what I've accomplished. Woo -dee -woo, then now it's time to start signing niggas. I agree. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I not agree. Gonna have, I'm not gonna be the biggest nigga in the planet and still have time to keep grazing and then try to bring it. I feel like that's when you you neglect your. Because mm -hmm. of course, any opportunity comes, you're gonna bring it to yourself. You're still trying to be the biggest rapper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm ready just to kind of fall back, and I'm okay with it. I feel like I've done enough in it. I feel like that's when I'm gonna start really put my all in. Mm -hmm. But also, I got people around me, A&Rs, engineers, everyone around me, so I feel like they can help us with the label too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to only be the thinking piece in it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was like the biggest advice you got from like, uh, like a, cause I say you, you had a relationship with Lex Luger, like mm -hmm. was it for example for him or any well-known A&R or producer or artist that you probably met? Like what was the biggest advice you got from? Biggest advice I would say like, uh, it's like, a lot of people, like, I, I'm going to just say, like, from Lex, I got, damn, from him, it was more so just like, shit, be yourself, don't be afraid to talk about it. And since you really that, you you know what I'm saying, you you the one, like, you really could do this shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's really just be you. Don't try yeah. to create some facade, really be you. So if you trapping out the zip, rap about that, you know what I'm saying? Don't, you know what I'm saying? That's what he really was big on me about. And then I would say, like, the biggest advice that I got from me when working like a nigga like Slopes, is just feel free to do whatever creatively. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I come in here and we make a love record, I'm trying to sing, da da da, and I'm not what I'm known for, but it, it, it's therapeutic one. And it's shit, it's just building my, it just building my, my, my arsenal. Right. You know what I'm saying? So the biggest advice I'll say is just have no limitation with the music. Feel free to make what you want. Fuck what niggas think, because everybody got opinions on how it's supposed to be done. A lot of niggas don't even know, because they don't even know what they got going on in their own life, so fuck them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It just. Yeah, just just go with your heart and this shit. Just 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 be real. Be true to yourself though. Don't don't mm. don't make up don't make up facades for yourself. You just stay true to yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? And make the music fun and make it sweet. Right. And make it nah, easy. Nah, facts. Yeah. Yeah. So what you got on uh what you got on the way? What's the plans and stuff? So like? right now I got Street PhD out. Mm. So that's out right now. And on the way I got a new project out. Well not new project I'm working on right now. Mm. So that should be out in the next month or two. Right. Yeah, okay. call two minutes. Really. You got uh, any nice, like any features and stuff like that? Or I got some good features. Like, I did a song flop. Okay. We did that's good. Like a, that's a good feature. Me and Dude did a song. Mm. Me and KP did a song. That's did a song with Driller. 
Okay. Which are you talking about? AVA driller? AVA driller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Drew, I fuck with bro. Drew McGrady. Yes, I fuck. I true, fuck with bro. True. Good representation of VA. Yeah, that's the real. VA. He do like one of the real. Yeah, VA you know what I'm saying. And I fuck with niggas on, on all sides of VA. Yeah, I don't pick no right. sides. I noticed that. I can but see you like you know, because crazy because a lot of people people don't even know my brother. He from the city, but he grew up in Delray. Yeah. So oh, I, okay. Yeah, my brother grew so up in Delray. Shot. Yeah, my brother grew up in Delray. So, so it's like DC and Delray. Okay, so. Yeah. My experience with VA is different than you know. I went to VA go goes and yeah, you know, so I knew how I know I knew who the real I knew who the real niggas of VA was yeah. at. You know, Alexandria was definitely one of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, I'm glad he's out of jail. I fuck man. Hey, really, you hear this man? Yeah, yeah. we fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I got a song with Big Molly. Yeah, shout out to Big uh, Molly. Big Molly, motherfucking um, Asian name. We got a record together. Mm. So yeah, just those are features I got right now. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah man. Nah, for real. So yeah, man. I definitely appreciate this interview right here. I mean, what's any last words or any words of encouragement and stuff like that? Shit, man. Words of encouragement. Just get to the paper. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas out here acting like like Gigi said. Chopping they dead niggas just scared. Niggas right, just right, playing. Right. They don't want no bread. Y'all niggas be acting like y'all want this money, but y'all be sleep till six, and we don't understand that. Mm -hmm. So just get to the paper. It's important. Like you acting like money don't matter. They telling that that shit a trick. That shit matters. So mm -hmm. get to that paper, but do it with morals and principles and values, though. There's ways to get to the money. You don't got to snake out to be up. See, I ain't had to snake nobody that had this in my pocket today. This is today. These niggas, and I ain't snake not one man nigga. I ain't snake not one man nigga, and this today. You feel me? So, and this come from niggas fucking my face call good so I can get money anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying stick to the money, know what's important, take care of the people that took care of you. So my dukes are the nigga. Oh, you got the rolly, but you live in my base, and that shit backwards than me. You know what I'm saying? If you shit, my bill should be paid. You got the rolling your wrist. A lot of shit, all that backwards shit, avoid that. You know what I'm saying? That trend says shit and really focus. Stay down. Stack that money and up. Put it up. Because yeah. hard times come up. That's why I think I fuck with VA side. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I grew up in a janky area. I grew up, you know, I love my city. You know I'm, I'm Northwest DC for the rest yeah. of my life, but. I just like, I, one thing I love about VA, man, they always get to the money and yeah, they always try. You know. And you know, niggas can get drank out anywhere. 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 But yeah. I feel like in VA, it's more so like we, we, we trying to get money together. We trying to. Yeah, we trying, trying to. to. It might not be perfect, but we trying we to get trying money together. To. Whereas everybody, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in here trying to like rob, back yeah. door, and stuff like that. Slime, yeah. Slime, nigga, ah, woody woo, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you that shit, it. like that shit okay. Yeah, it's not okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, morals, rise, and principles. You know what I'm saying? So get to the money with morals, rise, and principles. Be an MVP, for real. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Facts. That's my advice to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah, just grind, hustle. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Oh, yeah, I want to do one thing, too, man. So yeah, yeah. On camera, I want to, uh, you know, make you an honorary money set member. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, shit. You know, you know, for real? Little money set rag, you feel me? Uh, That's for you, bro. Ain't nobody gonna gangbang nah, on Nah, nah, nah. You ain't gonna get beat up. And if anybody touch you, you can make a phone call. You know, we get we get petty twin to handle that. Oh, shit. <laughs> but, nah, but shit, motherfucking, nah. But that's that's for you. That's that's for the love, man. Oh, you shit. Us. I you appreciate problem. that. Damn. Yeah, a lot of niggas, on, you show VA love. I always know that about you. That's yeah, I show the DMV. I show DMV equal love. You I don't, do. I don't care. Don't what your favorites and shit you like. Yeah. You, you trying to put the whole... My first interviews, my first interviews was in VA. Like, I was down the highway. With, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking with them niggas and okay. I was down with, Williamstown. With, uh, flashing fucking, them? Uh, nah, it was another uh, Tino. You know Tino, what I'm saying? Okay. Then I did another interview with uh, Reggie Reg. You know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. So like, I done multiple interviews yeah, like I VA. I fuck with Drilla, I fuck with I fuck with Flash too. I did interview around his way before. So I always show equal love to everybody yeah. in the DMV. And I feel like me personally, I feel like the VA side don't get as much respect on the other side. And I wanna yeah. just have equal respect on all sides. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. When Young Mo came out, like I feel like Young Mo had one of the biggest singles in the DMV with the uh, my soul joint and he didn't even get the respect from his peers in the metropolitan area yeah. because he was from VA. Yeah. And he had more he to this day there's really only like he was doing Wale, he did Wale numbers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I felt like he wasn't getting enough respect. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. dude, you know what I'm saying? So I always try to show equal love, you know what I'm saying, on the VA side, you know what I'm saying? But now, nah, uh, to the interview, the memory's about to go out right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> definitely, definitely appreciate locking yeah, up for this get interview. Get goddamn money, man. Yeah. That's my, that's my thing, bro. Yeah. Like, there's too much paper out here for y'all niggas to be broke out here. Yeah, fine. You know what I'm saying? If you're wearing a roll and your mom fucked up, I don't respect it. Yeah. I'd say you like that. A nigga like me don't respect it. We don't move like that. You man take care of family, put them up, and keep yourself right. Yeah. For real. I highly you know agree. Say, know what's important. Definitely, yeah. man. And I definitely appreciate this interview right here. We're going to wrap it up, man. This your boy, DMV Hoods and News, and we gone.